designed by architect Otis Asbury. It features three floors, front and rear stairs, a dumbwaiter, and a detached carriage house. We're actually only the third owners, and we purchased it last year from the family that bought it in 1919, which is a big reason why it has remained mostly untouched and original. We always say that we accidentally fell in love, and even though it looked so different when we first walked in, we were so taken by the curved staircase and the built-in nooks and all the little details. One of our favorite features about the house are the two sets of pocket doors that are original to the home and are fully functional. So this is our den. This historically has always been the dining room space for the home. It was fully wallpapered and cream trim and we decided to really go in a different direction and go dark and kind of moody and we painted even the ceiling the iron ore color so that we could get just a cozy movie room vibe in here. So we don't have any ghosts. Um, but we did have a mystery our first summer here last year where our cat Cuddy went missing for 10 whole days and after an all-out social media blitz we found him 14 miles away from home. But after he came home a local photographer asked if Cuddy could be featured in her book about rescue animals since he was truly a part of a rescue mission that successfully brought him home. I'd say a piece of advice for decorating your home would be to not be afraid of bold decisions, but to always keep the receipt. If you like it, take it home. And if it doesn't work for your space, no big deal. Figuring out what you don't like is an important rung on the ladder to finding the style you love. And my husband and I love to find cool old furniture at thrift shops, but we were actually lucky enough to find an old card catalog. I cleaned her up and now she lives upstairs. This is the primary bathroom suite. Um, this project probably took us the longest out of all of our renovations uh, due to all of the tile um, and that we turned the original primary closet into a walk-in shower. And this is the room where we also decided to transplant the original crystal chandelier from the dining room uh, to our bathroom. So this is our butler's kitchen. Um, the sink and the cabinets are both original to the house and we will not be altering either of those when we do renovate the kitchen next year, um, except maybe some fresh paint and some new hardware. So an interesting original feature uh, in the butler's kitchen is this uh, radiator designed with a shelving system so that you can use it to keep your food warm before it's served. All right, y'all, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my art office. I am an adaptive art teacher, which means that I travel to multiple schools to be able to serve students across the county in our special education programs. This space serves as a home base for two adaptive art teachers and two adaptive music teachers. One of our main goals in this program is to create an environment where every single student can experience art. A big part of my job is coming up with different ways to adapt and differentiate art lessons for every single student. One way we do this is by collecting a library of different adaptive tools and materials. Our favorites include multiple different kinds of adaptive scissors and adaptive paintbrushes. So because we travel to multiple schools across the county, we have recently streamlined our lesson organization by creating these kind of grab and go art lesson bins, easy to transport and they have everything that we need for a full art lesson. So far we have made 25 travel lesson bins with the goal to add 10 more this year. One of our favorite boxes is the motorized paint spinner lesson bin. It has enough supplies for an entire class to learn how to create spin art. And these are actually button adapted spinners, which means that we use a big red button to turn them on. And that's so that students with limited movement can also participate in the experience. I'd say the organization is extra important to me because I I'm traveling in and out of multiple schools a day and these systems help me make sure that my materials are not left behind. Thanks for coming to visit.